Guten Tag! My name is Dmad and welcome to the Tulsa Zoo on the Beck Watch. The Tulsa Zoo is an 84-acre park founded in 1927 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Home to over 436 species, the zoo houses over 1,500 individual creatures. The facility is a mix between biodiverse buildings and open outdoor habitats. What's more is that the outdoor spaces, excluding the habitats, give the feel of a city park. The Tulsa Zoo is able to be visited in any season. Their buildings are climate controlled and are open year round. Furthermore, the zoo is proficient in their design of numerous habitats, which offer awesome photo opportunities to guests. However, some of their outdoor habitats do show their age, though this might change soon. Number 3 the Tropical Rainforest Building is a 15,000 square foot structure that brings you through the undergrowth of the world's rainforests. The site contains temple ruins, glass aquariums, and free-flying birds, as well as hundreds of plants and an atmosphere that, had it not been for the glass ceiling, would make you feel like you've been transported. Number 2 the Wildlife Trek is a series of buildings that take you through the different climates and ecosystems of the world, from the cold, to the deserts, to the forests, to life underwater. These connected structures prominently display animals that have adapted to live in these environments, featuring walk-through aviaries, open-air habitats, and different color palettes to match each building's theme. Number 1. As of the time of this recording, the Lost Kingdom is the Tulsa Zoo's newest project to be completed. This section of the zoo takes guests through the mountains and tropics of Asia, all under the setting of a ruined city. The eye-catcher of all this is their ruined temple, housing one of their Malayan tigers and winter habitats for Komodo dragons and Chinese alligators. The architecture and enclosures of this portion of the zoo brings the immersion of the zoo's buildings to an open-air setting. The Tulsa Zoo is a fine facility, offering the best care it can for its animals while simultaneously immersing guests in different regions of the world. They also work to improve what was inadequate and thus build on their animal husbandry. And of course, they are dedicated to conservation around the world. And with that, I think we're done here. Have you ever been to the Tulsa Zoo? Do you agree or disagree with what I said? And what should the next zoo be? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider liking and subscribing to the channel and following us on our other platforms. And remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas and you have the brush. Auf Wiedersehen!